Surviving your first night in Minecraft can be tough, especially if you're just a beginner. So I wanted to know the best ways to survive the first night. Even though there are plenty of videos on how to do just that, I use ChatGPT, an AI you can use to write anything. So I told ChatGPT to write a list on five different ways to survive your first night in Minecraft and it delivered. And since one of the lists is literally impossible for beginners, I'll show you how I survived my first night. Also, I'll be writing which one on the list is the best in my opinion, which means you can have your own opinion on which one is your favorite. I just wanted to clarify that. And you can even comment on your favorite ways to survive your first night. So let's start. List 1 basic survival checklist. So the first list is basically what you would do for a regular minecrafter. But I legit got the worst spawn that a beginner could get. I tried to get resources, but my spawn was just so bad. So I created a new world. Just to have almost the exact same spawn, but I was lucky this time as I found some grass trees and even a mine shaft. This will be important. So now it's time for me to do what was on the to-do list. 1. Gather wood. 2. Make wooden planks. 3. Craft a crafting table. 4. Make wooden tools. 5. Get stone. But this took a turn I wasn't expecting. The sixth thing to do was to just make a stone pickaxe and sword. But where's the axe? Well, I guess it's not a big deal. 7. Dig a small hole or build a basic shelter using dirt or wood. And number 8 made me stuck for a second because it said to get torches to light up your shelter. But I didn't have any coal or torches. But remember I said there was a mine shaft? Well, I took a look in one of the chests and boom, I found eight torches. And a diamond! And with that, I headed back to my hobbit hole and placed some torches down. And Nine said I needed to get food, so I went fishing the old caveman way and did the last step and just stayed in my hobbit hole. List 2. Hunter-gatherer approach. This way of surviving your first night is kind of how I would do it. By 1. Getting wood. 2. Crafting a wooden pickaxe and getting cobblestone to make better tools. 3. Kill mobs to get food. But number 4 is where I usually struggle in regular Minecraft Let's Plays, because number 4 wanted me to get wool from sheep. But most of the time it has to deal with luck if you find sheep or not. Just realizing everything in Minecraft has to deal with luck. But either way, for me, there is just the perfect amount of sheep. And they all gave me wool. Continuing on to number 5 where it said to plant some crops. 6 also made me lucky because it said to get resources like coal and iron. And where I spawn, there were exposed ores and such. So I snatched some coal and iron and made my way back home to do the seventh thing, which was to build an open air house. Well, as long as it's a shelter. I built a tiny two block tall house. I made some torches to light up my surroundings, crafted a furnace to cook my food and smell ores, and stayed vigilant. Onto the next list. List 3. Underground Bunker Strategy. So this one gets a little crazy, so get ready. So yet again, I got wood, crafted tools, and gathered cobblestone for better tools. And step 3 was to make an underground base. Duh. So I did much like I did on the first list and made a little hobbit hole. But then my ADHD started kicking in and focused less what was on the list. And I started doing things out of order. Because on 4 it said to make a small entrance. But I ended up getting crops for the farm which was the 7th step. But I did end up putting the door in after I realized my mind was going elsewhere. So that's fine I guess. And number 5 wanted me to make a larger underground chamber for my base. But I completely skipped this one. So for step 6 I did make the chest for a storage, planted my crops, and mined up coal. But there was one thing I couldn't do on the to-do list, and that was creating an enchantment table. Reason being, I was not about to spend a few hours looking for diamonds. So I did the last step. I stayed in my underground base. List 4. A nomadic... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Nomadic survival tips, I guess. This one is how I'd imagine a beginner speedrunner to start their world. So of course, get wood and tools. And two said to quickly get food by killing animals. So I did so. Step three, I made a bed and carried it with me to prep for the night. And step four didn't want me to actually build a shelter. Instead, they wanted me to find natural formations or caves. And since I spawned in a village area, I was tempted to live in there. But I'm a nice citizen that cares about people. And even though the Caves and Cliffs update came out some time ago, it was surprisingly hard to find a decent cave. So I gathered a furnace to do on the go smelting and I skipped two of the steps here because one, I was distracted and I skipped the second one because unless a new biome was close to you, it would take a good 10 minutes to find and by that time it would be well overnight. So I found a little area which looked cozy and looked really cozy to the villagers too. I lit up the area and stayed mindful of my surroundings. And the last step here I had to skip because unless you're a speedrun master and can find materials needed to make 
make an ender chest in less than 10 minutes, then yeah, no way Jose. And the last list is kind of jarring because it's showing you the skyblock method, which is not even like a regular survival world, if you couldn't tell by the name. So instead, I'm going to show you how I survived the first night my way. So I usually get good spawns when I'm making my own worlds, but this was the only exception apparently. Minecraft just hates me sometimes. So since I'm getting tired of talking, I'll let the text do the job. Enjoy!